I'd taken all the precautions and done everything right, but sometimes things happen that are just entirely out of your control. I didn't have any real sex education in high school, so I didn't understand consent or manipulation. My sophomore year in college, I started to have intense abdominal pain. I went to four different doctors, but nobody could help me. When I got to college, I knew I needed to switch to a more reliable form of birth control, but I didn't have insurance or any way to pay for it. I didn't realize that I was in an unsafe situation and I was sexually assaulted by someone that I knew. It was a terrible experience. I was 18 and um, about to start college on an athletic scholarship and I wanted to be responsible about my birth control. So I made an appointment with my doctor and I got an IUD. Eight months later, uh, my period was a couple days late. So I decided to go and get a pregnancy test and it turned out that I was pregnant. And that was when I like broke down, I was so upset. Being in such pain and not knowing what it was was pretty scary. When you know four doctors tell you there's nothing, you think it's just in your head. I knew that being in this much pain wasn't normal and shouldn't be normal. In my Catholic school in South Dakota, I was told it was a sin to be on birth control. But even back then, I thought this doesn't really sound right. I knew pretty immediately that I didn't want to carry my pregnancy to term. I'm an athlete, uh, I'm a student, um, so being pregnant really wasn't a feasible option for me. The only place that I found information that I knew ahead of time was accurate and factual was from the Planned Parenthood website. I knew walking in there that everyone in that building supported my decision. I didn't understand what coercion was and so I I went along with it because I felt like that's what I had to do to get out of the situation. I felt like if I had the proper sex education, I kind of would have been able to feel more empowered and stand up for myself. And then I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have today. And that's what drew me to Planned Parenthood. They value sex education and they really care about their patients. I felt like my pain didn't matter to anyone. I finally went to Planned Parenthood. They did an ultrasound and it took five minutes for them to figure out I had a cyst on my ovary. The people at Planned Parenthood listened and they took me seriously. They got me started on medication right away and I felt better within a few days. I had heard that you could go to Planned Parenthood for low to no cost care. It was a big relief knowing that something so vital as my birth control that I need was covered. I was extremely nervous to have the IUD put in that day. The nurse held my hand as I got it in and she was just the, had the calmest voice and I couldn't have asked for a better experience actually. While I was still healing, I felt like I really wanted to make sure that other people were learning about sex education. My friend sent me a link to Planned Parenthood Sex and Politics League and I signed up right then and there. I was worried I didn't know enough, but they provided education that helped me own my own story and realize the power that I have um, to help others just by sharing it. So now I go out into the community and help educate others about the amazing work that Planned Parenthood is doing. If Planned Parenthood hadn't been there, I would have had to give up my athletic scholarship and I wouldn't have been able to afford to go to grad school. So all these things that I'd planned for, all of a sudden would not have been available to me. Planned Parenthood really helped me like emotionally and physically. I'm able to be involved in physical activities again. I'm actually a cheerleader and I'm captain this year, which is really exciting. Today, I'm working with survivors of sexual and domestic violence, and Planned Parenthood is a big reason why. Ultimately, my life is exactly where I'd want myself to be at this point. I'm about to graduate. I'm so close to getting my undergraduate degree. Our team is doing really well this year. I'm excited to start grad school next year. Now I'm in the clinical mental health counseling program at NDSU. I wouldn't be where I'm at in my education or working towards my future career without the care Planned Parenthood provided. I stand with Planned Parenthood. I'm proud to stand with Planned Parenthood. I'm proud to stand with Planned Parenthood. I stand with Planned Parenthood because Planned Parenthood stands with me.